Hello everyone, Mark here, Mark's Max Muscle, and I thought today we would shine the spotlight on Natalia Coelho. She is one of, if not my favorite current competitors, female or male. Fantastic physique on her, and what a true beauty for sure. This is her at the Legion Sports Fest. She won the she won that title for the women's physique division. She's a women's physique division competitor that's just one step down from the women's open and other than a runner-up at the olympia event natalia's biggest prestige biggest title is the arnold classic title which is a huge title to win and this was her in 2020 last year 2021 arnold classic there was no women's physique division at the arnold classic and i was pretty upset I checked this year, and once again, guys, there is no women's physique division at the Arnold Classic. That's downright disappointing. I mean, they have a history since back 2015. There was Juliana Malakarn, I believe her last name was, Malakarn. She won the physique division title at the Arnold Classic event way back in 2015. And up until, you know, 2020... They were having these, and they, they just seemed to have dropped it. And I was really hoping that they would bring it back this year for the 2022 show, but sadly, it's not going to happen. Now, on the Olympia side of things, for the Women's Physique Division, they began awarding championships for that division back in 2013. And this was Dana Lynn Bailey, another beautiful young lady with a fantastic physique. She was your Miss Olympia champion, or just your Olympia champion, if you only like to reserve that miss for the Women's Open. She was your 2013 and your very first ever physique division champion, so I thought today we would take a look at the evolution of the division, the women's physique. Take a look at the very first Olympia champion versus the final Arnold Classic champion in 2020, considering they... I guess they dropped it. They dropped it. They continued with bikini. They continued with wellness, figure, but no physique. Very strange. Now, don't be fooled by this picture, ladies and gentlemen. Dana Lynn Bailey, Dana Lynn Bailey she's just walking out. She's not flexing. Trust me, take a good look. She has some guns there, some delts. Of course, so does Natalia. Fantastic, fantastic. Two of my favorites the female divisions let's go through the shots that we do have keep in mind we don't have all of the poses now i like the way they're holding their physiques here it's basically the same i think coahio it's a hard difficult name to pronounce i, I hope i'm getting it right natalia coahio obviously I think she has a better V taper. That's the first thing that, that I notice. And I also think she has a bigger set of quads. Maybe we'll we will take a better look at that in other shots. But for Dana Lynn Bailey, good set of abs, more than a match. But the biceps themselves, peakier, freakier. Great condition are these women. Great condition. Maybe not open class. And when I said the next step down. I just meant as far as muscle size, condition, things of that nature, these girls should not have to take a backseat to any division, men included. Here is a, what I like to call a hoo-ha pose, or the ladies' hoo-ha pose position. It's kind of a side tricep, in which case Dana Lynn Bailey, she's got a huge tricep. Jeez, wish I had the meat back there that she does, fantastic. Of course, Natalia... I honestly would say, with all due respect to Daniel and Bailey, hey, it was what it was at the time. I just think that this division has evolved, I guess you could say, for the lack of a better term. But really, you break it down part by part. Dana Lynn Bailey, like I, I, I don't want to say she, she couldn't compete with t today's competitors. She's the former champion, 2013 Olympia physique division champion. And when you do break it apart, they're arm for arm. She's doing battle here. She's not, you know, getting bullied around by Natalia. Let's have a look at the back developments. Now, this may be a, a, a bully-type situation as far as the pose is concerned. I'm sure Natalia is anything but a bully. She seems to be a very nice young woman, for sure. 
They actually commented on a couple of my videos. Wow. It made my day. Made my day. Made my week, actually. From Wednesday to Wednesday. What can you say, guys? Without disrespecting one person, you gotta give a compliment to one, I guess. The Latin insertions are huge here for Natalia. Look at the, the dominance. Look at the V taper. Glutes. Stroided. Who cares about strider glutes? Well, I do believe the ladies' physique division cares about strider glutes. Now, now, the condition here, the hamstrings, the glutes that Dana Lynn Bailey brings, this would be probably a wellness-type condition, I believe. They want this type of condition, I think. And that's probably what the criteria was back then. Maybe figure. Figures maybe even more conditioned. Than what Dana Lynn Bailey brings. But that was the criteria. That's what she brought. And she was the champion. She was the she was the winner. So this was it. This is the evolution. Obviously, there's more muscle back there. And there's more condition. Both ladies. I'm not gonna announce a winner on this one. You guys know how I feel? The division has definitely evolved. As did the women's open, I am sure. I mean, Andrea Shaw. Incredible, incredible. Hit thumbs up on the video if you enjoyed it. You gotta support Women Only Wednesday, guys. And girls. You too, ladies. Anyway. Have a great day.